Okay, so today I'm going to show you how I like to make an individual cake with store-bought boxed cake mix. I'm gonna be doing yellow cake with a chocolate homemade frosting for one person. So I'm gonna divide this into thirds. So it's a 15, if you see here, it's a 15 ounce box. Like five ounces of cake mix goes into what I'm doing. I'm gonna add one egg. I'm gonna add like two tablespoons of uh, cooking oil a third cup of milk. This is just uh, some skim milk. And uh, that'll, that'll be the portion that I'm gonna work with today. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, just to give you an exact measurement, I typically eyeball stuff, but here I have it in grams. So it, the box cake mix is 432 grams, divide that by three, it's 144, uh, 144 grams. But for those of you that just don't have a, <clears throat> a, a food scale, and want like the cups. So there's a half cup. And then we're gonna go with another like, okay, that's a little. So I'm at 140 grams with about a cup of this cake mix. I think that's fine. We don't have to be exact, but you know, if you wanna be exact to do the 144 grams, just there you go, 144. Okay, so here we go. I've got my cake mix here, third cup of milk. I'm gonna start with like the two tablespoons only and my one large egg. I'm gonna go in there and just give it a mix. And this amount goes great in like a six inch cake pan. Here I have a six inch um, little cake pan. And now I'm gonna add my uh, batter, my cake batter. Okay, so instead of using my oven, I want to use my little toaster oven here. So I had it preheating 350 degrees Fahrenheit. It's gonna take like, I don't know, 20, <laughs> 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, so for those of you probably wondering um, if you can bake this in the air fryer, you probably can. I'm sure there's tons of videos out there. Um, I tried this in the air fryer, actually it was the other day, and I thought, oh, let me film this. Yeah, it was a total fail. I started at 360 degrees Fahrenheit in the air fryer for about 15 to 17 minutes. Uh, it did dome, and it kind of didn't look like you want a cake to look, but I didn't care. I just wanted something sweet you know, quickly. And when I went to check the center, it was raw. So I even thought adding foil to tent it, to put it on top would maybe um, make the cake cook quicker. No, it did not. It stayed raw, even after like 20 minutes in the air fryer. I'm sure I did something wrong. Um, I didn't Google or look up how to cook it in the air fryer. And I definitely think there are several videos. I, I could have, you know, maybe less Cake batter in the pan would have probably helped. I don't know. But if you want to give this recipe a try in the air fryer and it works for you, maybe comment below and it'll help someone. It'll definitely help me, but it just didn't work. So this is why I stick with my little toaster oven. Okay, so for the frosting, I am going to add one cup. This is considered like a one minute chocolate frosting. And I will link the recipe video that I found on YouTube a while back. And um, it's really helpful. So that's a half cup. I'm going with another half cup. Okay. There we go. Now to get out the lumps, you just kind of work it through your your fine wire mesh sieve or strainer. This one is a little too fine for what I'm doing. There we go. It's working a lot better. And it's getting the lumps out. So while I have a little bit of powdered sugar, I'm gonna add one. This is two tablespoons of um, cocoa powder, unsweetened. And now we're gonna just work that in. This'll just mix everything a lot better and it'll also uh, get out the lumps. You want this to be smooth and creamy when everything is done. Okay, going in with, let's see, one, two, I'm going in with like three tablespoons of butter. A tiny splash of vanilla extract going in with a pinch of salt. This is hot water. I'm gonna go in with one, 
two tablespoons. I'm just gonna work all that in together. And this is softened butter, by the way. And just keep working it in, mixing it up. It doesn't take very long. This is supposed to be quick and easy, not perfect. But it'll still be good. <laughs> so as you can see, this is done. This is so easy to make. So, so easy to make. I love it, especially when you just want something for yourself. Okay. Yay, this is done. You know what? Let's make sure it's done. Oh yeah, nice. Okay, I'm gonna remove the cake. And that took, like I said, between 22 to 25 minutes. And now it's time to let this cool. Okay, so let me be honest. I would 100% let it cool in the pan, add the frosting and just eat it out of the pan or cut it into four small pieces for my family. But my son wants this cake. So I'm going to let it cool on a cooling rack and then I'm going to cut off the little domed piece and let my son have that. And uh, I'll try to frost it to make it look kind of cute or whatever, but quite honestly, I mean, when you want something sweet, you're in a hurry, you're not going for uh, perfection or aesthetically pleasing, you're just going for it tastes good. So there's that. For this, let's see. And then I'm gonna just carefully go back and forth and cut the top. And you might need to work out the kinks, but like, you know, my son loves the little piece. <laughs> okay, here's the frosting that I made earlier. It's ready for the cake. Okay, first I wanna make sure I get all the frosting on the cake. And you know, I'm not really teaching you guys anything that you probably don't already know about frosting a cake. I'm putting it all, smooth it out, cover the cake, and you know, that's it, it's your cake. If you wanna let it set for a little bit, some people like cold frosting or cake, you know, do that. I'm just gonna take this a little over the edges, kinda let it fall. Okay, so the cake is done. And I probably could let this set, but the whole point of this is just to get your sweet fix in. <laughs> and because I made the frosting a little too early, you can see some of like the sugar and the butter kind of crystallized or hardened, you know, so you probably wanna make this frosting right before you're gonna frost it. But it's a really great, quicker and easier way to get your chocolate cake fix. So I'm gonna cut into this. And you know, I said it's cake for one, and it really could be. You could eat half for dessert and save the half for breakfast with some black coffee. I mean, why not, right? Or you can be nice and, you know, cake for four people. So yeah, let's see, what do we got here? Let me do it with this up, it's my other hand here. So yeah, ah! So there we go. Easy cake for one or two people. Okay, you guys, so this is my, my second bite. But yeah, this is really, really good. So let's see here. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching. Yum.